Hey, this is Chris coming at you with another tire side chat. Been a while, been busy doing stuff, so sorry about that. <clears throat> Want to talk a little bit today about when is it worth fixing your tablet? You know, the last time or time before last, we talked about when is when is it cost effective to fix your laptop or desktop? Oh, the tablet the situation is just a bit more cut and dry. Uh, first of all, if you bought your tablet at any kind of discount store, such as Walmart, Roses, Kmart, any place like that, then chances are it is not worth fixing. Mainly because you probably paid less than $100 for it. And even if there are replacement parts available, and my experience tells me that 80 to 90% of the time there are not replacement parts available, you are going to spend a significant fraction of that to get it fixed. For example, you shatter the digitizer, a digitizer, and or the screen. It does depend a little bit about how it's put together, but especially if the digitizer and the, and the LCD are one piece, you know, two pieces fused together into one that really can't be taken apart, it's going to cost you 50 bucks for an LCD. And, and, to be honest with you, I'm not going to crack apart a tablet for less than 50 bucks. It's just too much, too much um, trouble, really, to do it for less than that. Most of them are rather difficult to get apart to get to the LCD. You have to take them completely apart. And so, uh, or you have to uh, take your hot air station heat gun and go around the edges and be careful not to scorch any of the internal parts while you get it hot enough so that the adhesive uh, releases so that you can get the part out. So, yeah, if it's if it's a no-name part from a, any kind of discount store, forget it. Now, if it is a brand name like RCA or Sony or Samsung or Asus, uh, one of those, then it may or may not be worth it. It really depends on how new it is. And again, it really does, it really does depend on um, what the cost of the replacement parts are. Uh, iPads, for example, the re you know, to replace, of course, I like iPad construction because they are relatively easy to fix. Uh, most people, when they break their iPad, for example, just crack the digitizer. Digitizer is not a very expensive part, 25 bucks. You know, I charge 50 bucks to replace it. Um, you know, $75 for what is basically a three or four hundred dollar device that makes sense to me uh, some Samsung's and some other name brands are kind of the same way although their parts tend to be more expensive and so that you know you get to that point of not being worth it a lot quicker uh, for example I had a well it's not really a good example of what not to fix this is a good example of what to fix I got a Samsung last week but it's, it's something that came out in the model year like two years ago. So you look on eBay, the things are still going for 600 bucks. Well, um, let me back up in here. Yeah, still 600 bucks. Now the digitizer screen assembly was $250, but the person wanted me to go ahead and fix it. Because again, I'm only charging 50 bucks, to, so it's $300 to get it fixed. But he's got a $600 piece of equipment, uh, you know. So to him, it was worth it. To me, I don't know. But then again, you know, if you want a decent tablet, and those are decent tablets, then that's just the way it is. And I'm sure, you know, next time he'll be more careful with it. <clears throat> so anyway, you know, those are some general guidelines for uh, fixing tablets. And, uh, you know, if you bring, you know, if you, if you, if you call me and you say, I need my tablet fixed, I'm, the first thing I'm going to ask you is where'd you get it? And if I hear a discount store, I'm just going to say, I'm sorry, it's just not worth it. And that's too bad. Uh, tablets are almost, almost, uh, disposable pieces of equipment. They really are. They're really, they're really not made to be fixed, actually. I mean, you have to go through a lot to fix anything that's a mobile device these days. But, you know, some are easier to fix than others. So anyway, that's my two cents on that, on that uh, subject. Um, 
I was trying to think if there was anything I wanted to add, but I think that pretty much covers it. So if you need your mobile device worked on, please give me a call, 919-693-5580. It's local to Oxford. be happy to meet you anywhere to pick up your device and take a look at it and let you know you make the decision. Until next time, I will like and subscribe, please. Really appreciate it when you do. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one.